Alright, what's up YouTube? It's Post Child here. So today I decided to go ahead and download Bitafont and try a new font out. And let me just say the program is a piece of shit. I mean, if you do get a font to work, you cannot set it back to default. And that's even if you do get it to work. Uh, it always freezes up when you go to change, and when it, whenever you go to reset it, it does not want to reset. It just locks up your shit out of luck. Uh, Bitafont is just a piece of shit fucking program. I don't even know why it was made. So, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set back the default. Pretty simple and easy. First, what you're going to have to do is go into Cydia. And you're going to want to download SSH Connect by, I believe, let's see, Big Boss. Now nah, that guy makes good shit. Nah, nah, I haven't had any problems with him. So go ahead and download that there. And as soon as you're done with that, it should be in the settings right below Wi-Fi should be on now what you're gonna have to do as far as this goes we're all good now what you're gonna have to do is get on the computer you're gonna have to go ahead and download WinSCP and there's a website there I'll go ahead and post it in the description below as well as well as what we're gonna do today so after you get the program installed you're gonna get a little window like this host name username password now for the host name we're gonna have to do Let's go back to your iPhone, click on Wi-Fi, and as soon as you click Wi-Fi, bring up your thing, you're gonna click the little arrow by and it's gonna bring up your IP address. And you're gonna go to wanna go ahead and put that in the host name slot. And after you get that, right below it you will see a username and password. For the username, we're gonna do root. And for the password, we're gonna do Alpine. Pretty simple there. Alright, we have root and alpine. After you have that in your IP, we're going to go ahead and click login. That's going to bring this up. On the right, you're going to see your iPhone. On the left, you're going to see your computer. Ignore this shit, we don't need that. So, what we're going to first off do is go ahead and click back. See, we're going to have to do it one more time there. We're going to find var. I'm just going to start from the beginning here. So, we're going to click var. And we're going to want to go down to mobile and then the library and then we're going to look for that piece of shit fucking program bit of font right there and in here we're going to go ahead and click on original now you're going to see a few fonts here what we want to do is we're going to have to copy all those and paste them into a folder just any folder on your computer because we want to know the names you can ignore that read me so after we get back here after you copy and paste those, make sure they're pasted. We're going to go all the way back. And this time we're going to go into system. And then library. And then fonts. And cache. Alright, now here's all the fonts on your iPhone. Now what we're going to have to do, see the fonts over here, you're going to have to go ahead and delete them from this. Make sure you get the right ones. Make sure you do not delete any other ones besides these. Once you have those deleted, go ahead, recopy these, paste them back in here. Make sure they're all pasted in here, nothing's going on, just like this is dead. Then we go ahead and click on quit. And yes, we're okay. Now we can go back to the iPhone here. Once we're back here, you know, your font's still going to be the same. Mine's original because I already went through this. So, then what we're all going to have to do is just go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and do a quick respring. After it comes back on there. You should be able to open up your phone, get back in it how you normally do, and you will have your default font on there again. Everything's all fixed. Nothing else you have to do. But I would never use that program again. It's a piece of shit. So I hope this helps, and I'll go ahead and put the links in the description and folder by folder on what to do. And that's it, guys. Hope that helps, and I hope you have a great day.